Hi, I'm Jerry Hart, the Hydroponics Guy. Today we're going to talk about pothos and hydroponics and how you can grow your own cuttings, grow your own plants, propagate your own plants from the parent plant. Pothos grows a vine and that's one of the things that uh, makes them attractive is their ability to cascade. What we need to do is we need to propagate this plant and get new cuttings and so what we're going to do is we're going to start cutting off all of these long runners and we just cut along even with the pot. Here are the vines that we cut from the parent plant and again what I did is I picked just below the top edge of the pot and cut them all off all the way around and this is what we're going to use for our cuttings. Number one is both those vines have what's called a leaf and an eye and this is where the new growth is going to occur. So rather than taking this and putting it in a glass of water, which you see all the time, and the poor lonely thing is sitting in a glass of water and barely staying alive because it needs a lot of moisture to keep all of these vines growing and the only place that it can get moisture is from this tiny little root tip. So this is what you see oftentimes sitting in a glass of water. That is not the way to do it. Here's how to propagate pothos. You take the vine and you cut it so that the leaf and the eye is the piece that we're going to root. The section in the middle between these two gets discarded. So what we have to do is go down all of these and believe it or not the end tip is not the best for propagating. So here's what we got from that one vine. And those will all grow roots. This all gets discarded. I've cut all of the leaves uh, from the vine and again the cutting that I made was a leaf and a little section of that vine. This is called a leaf and an eye. And this is where the new root is going to form on the plant. This is easy to do. You'll have good success with this. Now there's a couple of things you need to know with this, however. Number one is roots need air as much as they need water to grow. So you should replace this water with fresh water from your tap every day that you think of it. You don't need to do it every day, but every couple of days because the water that comes out of your tap has oxygen in it. As it sits, the oxygen evaporates and the water becomes stale. So replacing the water every couple of days is number one. Number two is the best place to put these, not, put these uh, cuttings is on your kitchen counter or somewhere where it's nice and warm because roots need warm air to grow. These roots on these plants will not grow at temperatures lower than 68 degrees. So a windowsill is, by, is not the best place to put these by far. The best place to put these is on your kitchen counter, above the dishwasher, somewhere like that, where indirect light is fine, temperature is the important thing. It's been about three weeks since we put our pothos cuttings in water and here's what we have. As you can see, we've got a nice group of roots growing, and this, the key to this is warm temperatures, and I replace the water every couple of days. The next thing is, is to determine what size hydro planter we want to put these in. Is it going to be in a 4-inch planter, or should we put them in a 5-inch planter? Well, I'm going to choose a 4-inch planter, and the reason I do that is with any type of vining plant, 
to, to get a good looking plant, you need lots and lots of cuttings. So typically, we will put between 12 and 15 cuttings into a four inch planter when we grow them in the nursery. And a five inch planter will get almost 20 cuttings. That way, if any one of your cuttings dies or you have any kind of problem, you can pull it out and you're still gonna have a nice full plant. Furthermore, as this plant matures, you're gonna have a nice, big, beautiful, full crown. Okay, let's plant our cuttings into the new hydro planter. I want to point out here, uh, along the way, you're going to lose a cutting or two, like these didn't reach the water and they dehydrated. No big deal. Uh, we'll just put those to the side. Uh, let's not try and make them work. Now, the other thing that I like to do is soak my clay pebbles uh, for a couple of hours or overnight in a KLN solution and this gets them uh, saturated and ready for our new transplant. Now we're going to put our clay pebbles that have been saturated into our grow pot that we chose, a four inch grow pot, and all I'm doing here is just covering the bottom uh, with the pebbles. Now I take my cuttings and the key to this is your cuttings should all be on the same level, and that can be tricky sometimes. Some get high, some get low. You want to have them like just about on the same level. I set my cuttings in the culture pot, let them open up, add a few pebbles in the center, tapping that down, then grabbing the cuttings, putting them all together, and adding pebbles around the side. This is where I'm aggressive, and I really press the pebbles down hard. You don't need to worry about crushing the roots because the pebbles are round. They won't crush the roots. What you do want here is a stable plant. And there you are. Your new hydroponic plant that you grew from cuttings. All we have to do now is add the water gauge, put it in our outer pot, and we're going to water to a half on the gauge. And we're good to go because we had mature roots to begin with. There's our new plant. It might look a little floppy for a couple of days, but in a week or so, it's going to stand up and be a beautiful hydroponic plant. One final thing before we go, an arts and crafts project here, uh, since this is a do-it-yourself project, is perhaps you don't want to use a, uh, our regular outer pots. Let's say, for example, you like terracotta pots better or any kind of decorative pot. I'm going to show you how you can put your new pothos cuttings into a pot like this and eliminate the outer pot. All you have to do is get one of our clear plastic saucers and we show you at the, in, the, in the store on, the, on our website what saucers go with what uh, uh, culture pots. And so having this thing sit in a clear plastic saucer uh, is the saucer is now going to be the reservoir and then that fits inside of our clay pot. But oh whoops, it sticks out the top. That's no problem because all I have to do with this is take my scissors and I cut the top rim of that saucer off. You should never have more water in that plant than this anyhow. I stick that down in my clay pot, put the culture pot in there, and there we go. Our hydroponic planter is now in a terracotta pot.